Hello all, welcome to our channel. In this video, let's go ahead and learn about various features, benefits and advantages of Azure Active Directory. So as of now, we know this Azure Active Directory is fundamentally a cloud-based directory services, right? That means here you will provision your, all your identities in the cloud. That means in the Azure in this case. The previous video, we have understood that in today's world, we got cloud-based applications, right? How we are, they are utilizing and all the things we have discussed over there. If you think of the same kind of thing like uh, Salesforce, Dynamics 365, Office, uh, uh, Office 365, and so on, many other applications are there. If I list it out, it will take a huge over here. It means that Azure Active Directory is great only for organizations. No, it is not for only for organizations that would like to onboard cloud-based applications like that. Well, it does not mean that it is not good for on-premises applications. You might be thinking in that. No. So if you have on-premise applications on your data center, you can use something like an application proxy to connect your on-premises applications to Azure Active Directory. You might be thinking Azure Active Directory is only suitable for cloud-based applications. It's not at all wrong. The complete statement is wrong. In your on-premise applications, if you suppose if you have data center, or hosting your own uh, business applications, all that stuff. If you wanted to utilize this kind of feature, we'll be connecting, we'll be installing the medium over there, like application proxy, we can call it as. In previous video I've shown like Active Directory Connector or application proxy, you can uh, call it like that. Behind of that, you can pass in the communication synchronization method, you can do the users to communicate with the cloud. So you can do that. Not only like, like uh, in a way, I mean, there is a way like in your on-premise applications also can also get the benefit of single sign-on authentication. That means SAML-based authentication will be getting. And all of the security features that Azure Active Directory provides, it will also can get them over there. Like using Azure Active Directory as a service, it can connect with multitude of devices over there. It could be your iPad, it could be our personal desktop uh, devices like uh, Mac OS, and of course, like a Windows operating system also, it will work over there. I mean, with the unique identity protection benefits that Azure Active Directory provides, you will be able to know any, like, I mean, suspicious signals and any vulnerability issues in the authentication flow. And you can also get, uh, like, advanced security reports to resolve if there are any issues found in the ID flow. And thereby, you will be protect your business from any potential risks. Since uh, in Azure Active Directory, there is a self-service password reset capabilities also there. You will be able to reduce the cost of securing the identities and uh, securing the authentication flow. So if you are using these kind of applications, it doesn't, doesn't matter if you are already being a cloud user or it may be like on-premises user. You will get already using like taking advantages that benefits and uh, features of Active Directory, which offers. So as a summary, I have put it over here. You can observe it. Using single sign-on to any cloud or on-premises applications, it will be benefit and works with many devices like Android, iOS, Windows devices. You can protect your on-premises applications with security remote access. That's what I have explained. And you can extend your on-premise ID, on-prem ID to Azure Cloud ID easily can protect your sensitive data information and application over there. You can reduce the cost by enhancing security mechanisms like who have been accessing or, uh, I mean, who are all accessing your devices and applications at what time of log intervals are there. So these kind of activities where you can get the, all the reports over there in your Azure Active Directory. So now there are other benefits also there. In the upcoming next videos, you'll be going to see each and every detailed manner. Yeah, when it comes to practical, you will learn very easily over there. So that's all for this video, guys. I hope you liked it, uh, my video. Stay tuned for my more updates in this search series. That's all. Thank you.
Thank you.